Welcome to Riverside. In this short walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to create your first Riverside Studio, how easy it is to record high quality video and audio content with remote guests, and how to edit that content all inside Riverside so it's ready to publish to your podcast host, YouTube, or wherever you deliver your content. I've logged into my Riverside account and you might already have a studio created as a sample. But if you want to create a new studio, hit the plus button here in the left hand sidebar. When you create a studio, you will reuse this every time you do a repeat recording for this kind of content. So if you have a podcast, the studio can be the name of your podcast and you'll return to the studio each time you record a new episode. This is a podcast I'm starting, so I'll just call it my new podcast. You can toggle this on to record audio only, although even if you just plan to publish the audio, we highly recommend capturing video. This way we can create magic clips, which are those vertical videos using AI. We create several clips from every recording and you can share those on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels. You can choose your transcription language, set a scheduled date for your next recording, and then click Create. You'll now see that new studio in this left-hand sidebar. If you have lots of studios, you can search for a studio name up here. Start typing a name and it will filter the results based on your search term. You can also sort your studios from oldest to newest or newest to oldest. Now that we've created our new studio, let's click the Go to Studio button right here to get recording. You're now in the Riverside lobby. Here's where you'll choose your video input, mic input, and speaker output. You'll see all those options underneath the video here on the right hand side. Any webcams you have connected to your computer, or if you have an iPhone and a Mac, you can use continuity camera to record high quality video with your mobile device. You can also choose your microphone input or audio interface and your speaker output. On the left, type your name and choose whether or not you're using headphones. We highly recommend using wired headphones when you record. This reduces echo, so you don't have the remote guests coming out of speakers in the room being picked up by your microphone. You also don't have to worry about battery life when using wired headphones. And we highly recommend you monitor your own voice, meaning as you speak into a microphone, you hear your own voice in your headphones. Once you've selected your headphone option, click Join Studio. Now that we're in the studio, we're just a few seconds away from recording. Here in the upper right-hand corner, I can name this recording. Because it's a podcast, I'll call it Episode 1. I can also invite my remote guests by clicking this link here or the Invite button here at the top. By clicking Invite, when I click that button, I can send a guest link, audience link, or producer link. The guest link is what you'll be using most of the time. Sending this link to someone means they can open it in their web browser, Google Chrome, or Microsoft Edge. And when they visit that link, they'll see the lobby experience to choose their microphone, speaker, and webcam. And then they'll be here in the studio ready to record with you. They don't have to download any applications or software to record with Riverside. If you want to live stream what you record here in the studio, choose the audience link. That means as soon as you hit the record button, you're live streaming to anyone with that audience link. Now you can live stream from Riverside directly to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and any RTMP destination. You can set that up in the studio settings. And if you want to learn more about live streaming, I'll we'll put links down in the video description to some walkthroughs on setting that up. The third option is producer. Sending someone this link means they can manage some of the technical aspects of the recording. They'll see the chat and can interact there. They can share their screen, but they will not be recorded. So keep that in mind. Inviting a producer means they will not be in the final recording. And as I mentioned, guest is most likely what you'll be using. So you can copy that link and send it out. You can also get to those guest links when you're here in your Riverside dashboard looking at your studio. Just click the plan recording button and invite to record. Then you'll see the same guest, audience, and producer links and you can copy or send out emails for those who will be recording with you. If you ever experience stuttering or freezing during the call, it might be due to someone else's bandwidth speeds. We do have a low data mode that you can expand that will temporarily pause the uploads of those high quality video and audio files. And then once you hit stop recording at the end, those files will resume uploading. Don't worry, all those files are safe and still being saved in high quality. Underneath that, you'll also see all the participants in the call. You'll see your own name and volume levels, the video quality you're being recorded at, and the devices you chose in the lobby. You can change your camera, microphone, and speaker devices before you start recording. And you can also see your remote guest devices and what they're using here in the sidebar. So just take a look, make sure they're using a USB microphone or other audio interface that you expect and make sure they change that to the proper device before you start recording. Once everyone has joined the studio, it's time to click record in the bottom. You'll get a five second countdown. And once that hits zero, you're now recording in high quality video and audio. Everyone in the studio is being recorded locally to their device. That means any blips or bandwidth drops that they might have doesn't affect the final recording. You get high quality video and audio files from everyone, regardless of their internet speed or device they're using. They can even tune in from their iPhone, Android, or iPad device using the Riverside app. 
If you want to learn more about that, I'll put a video link above here and down in the description. As you record, you can make for engaging video elements, like uploading video files to the media board. Clicking something in the media board will play it both for you and everyone in the studio, and you'll actually get a separate track for recordings like that. Or you can play audio files from here. You have the chat window, which lets you chat with everyone in the studio. And if you use that audience link to invite people to watch live, you can interact with them in the chat as well. We also have great features like screen shares if you want to share a tab or window with everyone in the call. Those screen shares are also recorded and you get those in separate tracks in your dashboard. You can even upload a script or bullet points and use our teleprompter here in the studio. And while you record, you can temporarily turn off your microphone or camera just to mute yourself or if you need to step away and just click it again to resume. Once you're done recording, hit the stop button down here, which you see a live time code, which is great. And then you'll see the upload progress of everyone's files in the lower left-hand corner. Ask everyone to stay around just for a moment, and then you'll see successfully uploaded on all the tracks with a green check mark, and everyone is safe to leave the studio. If someone leaves the studio a little prematurely before their files have uploaded, just send them to riverside.fm slash upload, have them go to that in the same browser and on the same computer they use for the call, and their files will continue to be uploaded for you to access in your dashboard. To access our recordings, I can click View Recordings here in the studio, or back on my Riverside dashboard, I can click a studio name in the left-hand sidebar and then click a past recording. Here I'll see a preview of the video recorded and I get an AI-powered transcript every time I record. You can generate show notes with AI right here on your Riverside dashboard and generate those magic clips, which gives you vertical clips of your content ready to share to social media. Scrolling down to the bottom, you'll see the individual tracks for every guest that was in the studio, media board files you shared, and screen shares. To download individual files, you can click the high quality button, then download the raw video or raw audio files for every guest. Then you can edit those in an external editor. But Riverside has a powerful editing tool and you can click the create new edit here in the top right corner and edit all of your content right here in Riverside. Because you have an AI powered transcript with every recording, you'll see it here in the Riverside editor. And deleting a portion of the recording is as easy as deleting the text like a Word document. You'll also see color-coded names for each speaker, and the waveforms down in the timeline are also color-coded. I can also cut and splice my clip here by splitting my sections. And after I've split multiple sections, I can click and drag just to rearrange my content down here in the timeline. We also have incredible magic tools at the top. Here you can remove silences based on how fast you want the pace to be throughout the recording. You can add your background brand or logo, rearrange the tracks if you'd like someone else on top or on a different side. You can use our AI layouts, which will actually focus on the active speaker and put the other in picture in picture. You can add captions that will follow along with the video, even choose a highlight color for the word that's being spoken right now. And we even have overlays if you wanna add lower thirds or name labels to your guests. When you're ready to export the final video, click the export button in the upper right hand corner and you'll see a new video or audio option. If you're exporting video for this clip, you can choose up to 4K, normalize audio levels so everything's the same volume, and then you can export the video. Or if you want to export the audio version of this clip, just click over to audio, you can choose MP3 or WAV, you can also normalize the audio levels here, and then you can export the audio file only. You'll see all your exported clips down here and any in the draft status that you're still working on. Click a download button, it'll save that video file to your computer, and now you've recorded, edited, and got your content ready to publish all with Riverside. If you have any questions about using the Riverside platform, leave a comment below this video. I answer all those personally. Subscribe to the channel because we have great new features coming very soon. And if you need help building a video podcast setup, maybe some gear recommendations, I'll put a video right up here that has different budget levels for podcast and video setups. And again, any questions, leave comments below those videos as well. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.